Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create a virtual switch using Hyper-V Manager. In the previous video, we explored an overview of Hyper-V virtual switches, examining their architecture, capabilities, features and functionality within the Hyper-V environment. The link to the video providing a simple guide to the basics of Hyper-V networking can be found in the description. Creating and managing Hyper-V virtual switches is an essential part of maintaining and managing your Hyper-V network infrastructure. In this second part of the basics of Hyper-V networking, we will go through the steps to create Hyper-V virtual switches using the Hyper-V virtual switch manager. A virtual switch enables virtual machines on Hyper-V host to communicate with other computers. When installing the Hyper-V role on Windows Server, you have the option to create a virtual switch during the installation process. The Hyper-V role has been installed on this server. We choose not to create a virtual switch during the Hyper-V role installation so that we could walk through the process of manually creating virtual switches. The most common way to configure virtual network settings in a Microsoft Virtual Machine environment is by creating an external virtual switch. The main reason for adding this virtual switch is to enable the virtual machine to communicate with the physical network. By connecting to the physical network and facilitating communication with all devices in the environment, the virtual machine can access the internet through the external network configuration. This means that a virtual machine on Hyper-V can access the internet as long as the physical machine is connected to the internet. In the Hyper-V manager, click on the virtual switch manager option. As you can see, no virtual switch has been created on this Hyper-V server yet. Select the new virtual network switch option and choose the type of virtual switch you want to create. As discussed in previous video, Hyper-V allows you to create three types of virtual switches. External, Internal and Private An external virtual switch is connected to a physical network adapter installed on the Hyper-V host, allowing virtual machines to access the physical network and the Internet. An internal virtual switch enables communication only between virtual adapters connected to virtual machines and the management operating system. A private virtual switch allows communication only between virtual machines connected to it without any access to the host or external network. In this example, we will create an external virtual switch as this type is necessary to enable connectivity between guest VMs and the physical network. Select the external switch type and click create virtual switch. Enter a meaningful name for the virtual switch to easily identify its purpose. Let me add name external vSwitch01. You can also add a description or note for the virtual switch to easily identify its purpose and reason for creation. Now select the physical network adapter of your computer that is connected to the external network. In my case, I only have one network adapter on this server, which is already selected. As we know, an external virtual switch enables virtual machines to connect to an external network. We can also enable the management operating system to share the selected network adapter with the virtual switch. To enable this, ensure that the allow management operating system to share this network adapter checkbox is selected. Uncheck this box if you have a separate network adapter for management or if you plan to configure one manually later. If you deselect this option, a message appears warning you that you may lose access to the host unless you have another network adapter used for management communication. Next, we have Single Root I.O. Virtualization. Single Root I.O. Virtualization allows you to prepare such configuration that you can increase network throughput by bypassing a virtual switch and redirecting traffic directly to the virtual machine. There are few requirements to keep in mind such as BIOS compatibility, SLAT support by your processor, and a SR IOV PCI network card in your system. Make sure you understand the implications of this setting before proceeding. And leave the checkbox unchecked. Keep in mind that you cannot enable SR IOV on an existing virtual switch. It must be configured during creation. For virtual switches connected to an external or internal network, you can specify the VLAN ID to segment network traffic. 
the vlan id is used by the management operating system and virtual machines that communicate through this virtual switch you can enable vlan id as per your requirement in this example i'm not going to enable vlan id for this virtual switch once you are ready click apply to apply the settings and make them take effect as soon as you click apply a warning window will appear Be prepared for a brief loss of physical connectivity as Hyper-V disables the physical NIC, configures the virtual switch, and then re-enables both. If you are connected to your Hyper-V server remotely, you will lose connectivity for a few moments during this process. After a few seconds, the RDP connection will automatically reconnect. Click Yes to apply the changes. Applying changes to the virtual network settings. After reconnecting. Verify that the external virtual switch has been created successfully. Let me open ncpa.cpl to view the network adapters. We can see this is my physical network adapter and this is the virtual switch. We can see the name external v switch 01. Let me close this. Now click okay to close the virtual switch manager. After adding the external switch, right click on the windows 11 virtual machine, open its settings and configure the network adapter click the network adapter currently it is not connected click on this drop down menu and select the external v switch 01 this is the external virtual switch that was created earlier click okay to save the changes now the windows 11 vm can connect to the external network and the internet using the external virtual switch the creation process for internal and private virtual switches is similar However, certain settings such as network sharing and SRIOV will be gray out due to the nature of these switches. Let me walk through the steps to create a private virtual switch. From the actions menu, select virtual switch manager. Choose the private virtual switch and then select create virtual switch. Enter a name for the virtual switch. Under connection type, we can see private network is selected. Click okay when you are ready. The new private virtual switch is created successfully. Let's verify that. We can see this is the our external virtual switch and this is our private virtual switch. This is how you can create external and private virtual switches in Hyper-V. You can also use Windows PowerShell to create and manage virtual switches in Hyper-V. That's all for this video on how to create virtual switch in Hyper-V using Hyper-V Manager. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.